Hi, my name is Eugene from Hyoki Singapore. Today, I'm really excited to share with you on Hyoki's new AC leakage clamp meter. Now in today's tutorial, I would like to go through with you and share on what is leakage current, the dangers of it, how to measure it, and how the new clamp meter can benefit you. So without further ado, let me first share with you about leakage current. Leakage current is the current that flows through a protective ground conductor to the ground in any electrical equipment. Let me illustrate in the next slide. Assuming this is an electrical appliance, any kind of fault will cause the leakage current to flow to the protective ground conductor, to the main earth, and subsequently to the ground. Let us go back to the main page. Now, second cause of leakage current. If the insulation of the cable is high, then there will be very small leakage current. However, if the insulation is weak or damaged, substantial leakage current may flow. Ultimately, this high leakage current may cause intermittent tripping on the residual current devices. In worst case, it may cause fire, threaten the lives of people, and damage equipment. So ultimately, we need to use a leakage clamp meter to detect where is the source of the leakage current so as to prevent unplanned power interruption, prevent harm to livestock, and damage to equipment. In most distribution boards, you will find a residual current device to protect against leakage current. These are some of the examples of RCDs available in the market with specified leakage current rating. You can also see the dangers of electric shock depending on the amount of leakage current and the duration of time. Overall, 0 to 10 mA will cause tingling effects on your skin. 10 to 25 mA will cause you pain and muscle spasm. Above 25 mA will cause death. Now with that short background sharing on leakage current, I shall now explain how to measure leakage current with the CM4001. For the demonstration example, we will be using this distribution board which is powering the VSD motor. With the CM4001, we will use it to measure the life, life and neutral, and also the earth cable. In the first example, you can see how we can measure the load current of 1 ampere by clamping on the live cable. Please note that the current capacity of the CM4001 is up to 600 ampere. In the second example, you can see how we can measure the leakage current of 2.36 mA by clamping on the live and neutral cable. In the third example, if the live and neutral cables are inaccessible for some reason, you can still measure at the earth cable, which will register the same reading of 2.36 mA of leakage current. In the fourth example, I would like to show you the usage of the comparator function. I've already preset it to 2 mA, and while measuring the live and neutral cables, the warning light and alarm tone sounded because the leakage current was higher than 2 mA. Now, besides measuring leakage current, the CM4001 also has many wonderful features such as slim jaw, inrush current measurement, auto hole function, bright white backlight. Last but not least, it is able to connect directly to Genet Cross, which is a freeware on your mobile or tablet if you purchase the Z3210 Bluetooth wireless dongle. And this will allow you to monitor and lock measurement parameters on your devices. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for this tutorial on CM4001. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our Hyoki YouTube channel. Thank you and have a good day. My name is Eugene and I'll be signing off for today.